What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Viking 9.0 TD Express. It is a pop-up. It has just about everything you could ever need. It has quite a few options that a lot of pop-ups don't have. Things like an air conditioner, a heater, Bluetooth speakers, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into this. But before we do, of course, I would like to ask if anybody that hasn't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, especially if you're uh, constantly coming back and watching. Uh, based off of the statistics YouTube gives me, about 99% of the people that keep on coming back are not even subscribed. So if you don't mind helping me out, it would help me out tremendously if you could go ahead and uh, subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go ahead and start in the front. So this is obviously a used RV, but it's still in great, great, great condition. So you have your propane tank in the front, and of course you have your battery set up right here. This one, I believe they're, they just, decided to go with a side tongue jack as opposed to a regular tongue jack of course you can always replace it you can put an electric tongue jack if you really feel the need to you can do multiple options with this so i wouldn't worry too much about it you have the viking logo on a gray background and then his spare tire is he decided to mount it up top in the uh, cargo rack which i really like the cargo rack would i put my spare tire up there probably not but it's not the worst place let me put it that way but getting up there would be kind of a pain, especially for somebody as short as I am. So if you decide that you want this RV, we can take it down, no problem. Uh, let's go actually on the other side. So it comes with this table. You also get um, a, fire, a fireplace, a grill, which I think it's latched down. Yeah, it's latched down. So it's just a grill. Uh, that mounts to the side, much like uh, some of our uh, A-liners and things like that. You do have a pass-through storage. Go ahead and open this up. Yeah, so you have a pass-through storage. You have windows that open on both sides. Coming down, you have your water heater. And then, of course, this is your antenna for your radio, but it is also Bluetooth. You have a 5,000 BTU air conditioning in this unit. And then it's a rear entry. And we do have the thing that comes down. I forget what it's called. It comes down and gives you a little bit of more space uh, in like kind of somewhere to sit where the bugs can't get you. It's all mesh and everything. So it's really cool. You also have your bottle opener as you will. All LED lights everywhere, which is awesome. And then, of course, coming down, you do have your pet-friendly hookup. And it does have solar hookup. Where did I, did I skip that? There's a solar plug on here. I may have skipped. Yep, I did skip. Solar plug right here. So if you want to maintain your 12-volt system, you can plug in, a like, whether a backpack or a suitcase solar system uh, or solar panels, you can hook it up there. coming around so this is a drain for your uh, for your sink right here and then of course this is to maintain your refrigerator you have a reel in uh, 30 amp plug so it doesn't have to just trying to find a place to put it won't be a pain it's just located right here goes back in there and I believe you can actually even after you pull it out you can close this and that's why you have that pass through right there, which is very, very nice. So, close it. And then you do have your fresh water tank right here. You have a city water hookup right there, your outdoor shower, and then your pass through again. So, very nice. And this one has kind of knobby tires, so it looks like you can get a little bit into the uh, rugged terrain. I wouldn't go too extreme because of the su uh, the suspension isn't independent. I don't believe. No, nah, it's on leaf springs, so I wouldn't put it too too hardcore. And then of course you have the mechanical uh, manual uh, stabilizing jacks. And then coming around, we're gonna go inside. Let's open this up. Now, I'm not gonna get like all up in there. You do have one step and then you're in the RV. So here's your air conditioning unit right here. 
Again, it's 5,000 BTUs. And then you have your heater right here. And I believe, and I'll correct myself, I think it's 15,000 BTUs. You have your fuse panel right there, Bluetooth speaker here, or Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth stereo here. And then of course you have your fridge right here, which is very, very nice to have. Yeah, you have your light switch, but we don't have it plugged in. Um, you have your sink here, so as you clean, it does drain through that, that hole. So you would just want to put a hose and run it to wherever you need to run it. Let's go ahead and get up. And then this bed is aftermarket. It's actually really clean. It just has a little bit of debris on it. This is super soft. We noticed that first thing getting in. And then, oh, they left their uh, fan. So that's always a plus. And then you do have your water heater located right there. And then you have, I believe this is going to connect. So what do we have here? A portable potty, I think. Yep, it's a toilet. So you have a portable potty located right here. Ooh, that actually smells good. I hate to admit that. And then opening up right here. Oh, they <laughs> they gave you a mainstay Walmart cutting board. We'll leave that in there. Just a good little storage area. And of course you do have a place to put things. You have your fire extinguisher, lights. Again, it's not plugged in, so we're not gonna get any light. But over here, you do have your speakers on each side. You have windows on both sides of your uh, bed, which is always a plus. And it looks like there's reading lights located underneath. You can tell, but I'm gonna use my shadows right there. And then of course you have storage all the way across. This is actually really, really nice. And you can pull it with just about everything. I think it's barely 2,000 pounds loaded. And that's pretty much the whole of this RV. That's, and that's perfect. I mean, if you're gonna go hunting, if you're gonna go camping with you and a significant other, or even one child or something like that, like. I have two kids, but one of them is old enough to go camping. One is still young and would be a pain to try to do it. So I would be happy to, I mean, we have to share a bed, which I already do that quite a few times. So I really dig this. I like it a lot, actually. The fact that it has an actual AC unit in it, it's got a hot water heater, it's got heat, it's got air conditioning. This thing is fantastic. And then you also have an LP uh, propane quick connect right here. So you can bring your own grill if you don't like this one, which I would probably do if I'm being honest with you. And throw it in the back of the car, back of the truck, whatever, because this thing can be pulled by just about anything. You can pull this with a, uh, let me turn off that light. You can pull this with just about anything you possibly need to. But guys, I'm gonna go over all the specs right now. So the length of this RV is 13 feet. The height is 5.75 feet closed. The height with it open is 8.33 feet. The width of it is 6.58 feet. The weight of this RV dry is 1,080 feet. You can put up to 1,042 pounds into it. And that gives you a GVWR 2,122 pounds. The hitch weight is 122 pounds. The only tank on this RV is the freshwater tank and it is 16 gallons. This RV sleeps two, as it has a bed for two. And then you have your 5,000 BTU air conditioner. And pardon what I said in the video, it is 20,000 BTU heater. And that pretty much covers everything. So, and back to me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this one was really short. Again, it is a small trailer, so I hope you enjoyed it. It is for sale. Of course, I'll have the price at the beginning. I'll probably put the price right here as well, so you can remember, and it will be also down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, anything down below, and also in the description is going to be all my contact information. So uh, until next time, bye.